Hey all, uh, this is a general troubleshooting video. So let's say you're having trouble getting into the class uh, notebook, the OneNote. Um, remember that there's a link here in Start Here and Course Files, and that you can get into your OneNote class notebook that way. It might be the last link in a physical science or chemistry class, um, but here's the link for your class notebook. And if that comes up and you can't see any of the notes that I've created, or you can't see your own folders, then what you wanna do is you wanna come up here in Chrome and you want to go to more tools and clear browsing data. And then you want, want to clear from all time is what I would say, your cached images and files and your cookies, okay? Now, like this says, it'll sign you out of most sites. So you'll have to log back in again when you do this. But when you do that, Within Chrome, this generally will help your browser run a little bit better, okay, a little bit faster, and you should not have any issues trying to pull up the class notebook anymore. Now, if it starts to happen again, then again, go in and clear your cache, okay? The other part of this video is, let's say that you're having issues seeing videos from Safari Montage. So, see here, I cleared my cache, so I'm having to log back into Schoology again. And let's say that you're trying to see a video on Safari Montage, since I'm already here in physics. Here's some videos. And again, I'll have been exited out of Safari, okay? If you're not seeing this, or if after you log into Safari Montage, you are um, not seeing the previews of the videos, but if it says the material is inaccessible to you, it's probably a setting in Safari. The first thing to check is that you're in the right school. So it should say Pickens High School, okay? If it doesn't say Pickens High School, then you wanna click on your name and you wanna click on your school. and You wanna set Pickens High School as your default once this comes up and loads. For me, See, it says remove as default because right now it's set as my default. If it says Pickens High School here and here, if that's already your default and you're having issues seeing the videos, what you want to do is you want to log out of Safari and you want to log back into Safari. And then try again on Schoology to refresh and see if the videos come up. That usually fixes this for most students who are having problems seeing the videos through Safari Montage. Remember, you can also get to Safari Montage itself through your Launchpad. So when you first log into Launchpad, when you log into your Chromebooks, if you have all of your icons alphabetical, this is where you can see Safari Montage. If it doesn't come up as an icon for you, you can search for it and you can log in that way. Final item in this video. Oh, and then if you're still having issues with videos, please let me know. There are some other things we can try. If it's a major issue, sometimes there's fixes that they have to do at the county level. For instance, if you're set to a different school and you can't change that to Pickens High School, then somebody at the county level will have to take care of that for you. The other thing I wanna point out here on Launchpad is there used to be in the Chromebooks a TI-84, I believe, calculator app that's no longer free from Texas Instruments. So unless you really want to pay to subscribe to that yourself, you probably want to know how to use a calculator on the Chromebooks. And I don't want you to go into Google during tests and quizzes. So down here in this backpack that says My Classes, when you click on that, you should see a list of all of your classes come up. Of course, this is all of the ones that I am teaching. And notice that in all of the ones that I am teaching, there is a Desmos scientific calculator available, okay? Now, this should be good for most of our classes. If there's something else that we need to do here, especially say these trig functions, if you're in my physics class, if you're trying to take an inverse sine or an inverse cosine, you will find those under the functions menu here, okay? See how you have all of those trig things here. Um, there's other statistical kinds of things that you can use. 
other types of square roots and nth roots if you're trying to take cube roots or fourth roots. You, there's a typing pad if you want to try and type things out. But um, in general, this should be pretty good for you. If you are trying to do exponentials on here, um, then this is where you would do something like, let's say 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, okay? This is how you can plug that in. I don't see an exponential key that would really let you do that as a times 10 to the. So if you're doing this, you do wanna be careful when you have exponents and put parentheses around the whole expression, okay? So here's parentheses around the whole expression and I can get rid of those in the middle. You can use your cursor here to move around. You can use backspace and delete. And then when you're done setting everything up, then you can type the enter key. So if I wanted to do one divided by this, I just did control X to cut and I can paste that that way, right? Whereas if I had one divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, if that's how I type it in, see how the times 10 to the 23rd is not in the denominator anymore? That would give me a different magnitude for my answer. Notice how the exponents here are very different, right? When this was first here though, it was like this. So if you're typing it in that way, make sure that the exponential is where you want it to be in the fraction, okay? See how those are both the same thing with or without parentheses. So just a quick video, hopefully for troubleshooting. If you are having any issues with the calculator, if you're having any issues with the videos, please let me know.